My yarny friends, I'm Sarah Satch and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet my new Christmas or holiday pattern release called the Noel Throw Blanket. It is a beautiful blanket. It's a combination of shell stitches and double crochets in alternating row. It's basically a two row repeat. I've chosen this beautiful striping yarn in Christmas colors for my project today. But of course, you can use any colors that you want. And you don't even have to make it in Christmas colors if you don't want to. But we'll talk more about yarn when we get a little farther on in the video. Now, if you make this pattern according to what I have written, you're going to get a pattern that's about 41 inches wide and about 60 inches long, but it's super easy to adjust this pattern. You can find all the multiples and stitch counts and measurements on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. The yarn that I chose for today's project is stitched up with this. It's called Holiday Pastry Puff. It's from Hirschner's and it's a medium weight number four yarn. The colorway is called Peppermint. It has long stripes of pink and red, dark green, light green, and white, and it stitches up beautifully as you can see. And like I said, it is a medium weight number four yarn. So you could use any medium weight number four yarn that you have on hand. You're going to need approximately 20 ounces or about 920 yards to complete the project in the size that I have made. But of course, if you're adding or subtracting, you're going to need more or less, all right? Isn't that beautiful? I just love this yarn. It has a soft, silky feel to it without being too slippery. We're going to be stitching today with our eye hook. It's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then besides that, you just need your needle for weaving in ends and a pair of scissors. To make our Noel throw blanket, you're going to need to begin by chaining 82 chains. That's going to get you the size that the pattern calls for, which is a 41 by 60 inch throw blanket. If you want to adjust that size, you can do that by our multiples. You stitch multiples of seven plus 12 chains. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch. We'll start with the swatch and then we'll finish up with the actual blanket itself. So I'm going to be doing a swatch or practice piece by stitching 26 chains. For your project, if you want to make it to the size of the pattern, you're going to need to chain 82 chains. And remember to always stitch that beginning chain just a little bit loose. So I've stitched my slip knot and I'm going to chain 26 chains. I've stitched my 26 chains and remember you're going to need 82 chains. We're going to stitch a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Then we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those chains across. one double crochet in each of those chains all the way across. I've stitched one double crochet in each of my chains across. And remember, I have less stitches because I'm making a swatch. But you're going to have 80 
double crochets. We're going to chain three. There we go. And turn. Now we're going to begin our shell and double crochet stitches. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet and does on every row. So we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and then in the next double crochet we're going to stitch our shell stitch. And our shell stitch for this pattern is five double crochets stitched in the same double crochet. One, two, three, four, five double crochets all stitched in that same stitch. Now we're going to skip the next two and then we'll double crochet in the next two stitches. We skipped two double crochets and stitched one double crochet in the next two stitches. Now we'll skip the next two and then in the next we'll stitch five double crochets which is our shell stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. We'll skip two stitches again and stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. All right, and so that is our repeat across. You'll skip two stitches, stitch your shell stitch, skip two stitches, one double crochet in the next two and then repeat that working all the way across your row. Once you have repeated this all the way across your row, you're going to end up with six remaining stitches. You'll skip the next two and then you'll stitch one double crochet in those last four. and chain three. Now, of course, you're going to have a lot more shells in sets of two double crochets. We've chained three and we're going to turn our work. Again, our chain three counts is our first stitch, so we'll double crochet in the next three. This brings us to our first set of two double crochets and we're going to stitch a shell stitch in between those two double crochets. And again, our shell stitch is five double crochets in the same stitch. There we go. So we stitched five double crochets in between those two double crochets. So now this brings us to our shell stitch. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a double crochet between the second and third double crochets. We'll go right in between and stitch one double crochet. Then we'll go between the third and fourth double crochet and stitch a double crochet. one double crochet between the second and third and one double crochet between the third and fourth double crochets of that shell stitch. Alright, so now this brings us to our next set of two double crochets and we'll stitch five double crochets which is our shell stitch. And now we'll come to our next shell stitch and we'll stitch 
a double crochet between the second and third, and then a double crochet between the third and fourth. And that's our repeat across for row three. We shall stitch in between the two double crochets, and then we stitch a double crochet between the second and third and third and fourth stitch. And you'll repeat this working all the way across, and then when you get to the end, you'll stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochet stitches. and chain three. All right, let's do row four. We've chained three. We're going to turn our work. Again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet, so we'll double crochet in those next three stitches. And that brings us to our first two double crochets. So we'll stitch our shell stitch in between those two double crochets, and again, our shell stitch is five double crochets in the same stitch or space. In this case, it is space. All right, let's make sure we got five in there. One, two, three, four, five. Then this brings us to the shell stitch. And again, we're going to double crochet between the second and third, and the third and fourth of that shell stitch. Then that brings us to the next set of two double crochets, and we stitch our shell stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And then we get to our next shell and we stitch a double crochet between the second and third and between the third and fourth double crochet. And that's our repeat across. Shell stitch in the two double crochets, then a double crochet between the second and third and third and fourth of that shell stitch. Shell stitch between the two double crochets and those two double crochets, and we're going to repeat that all the way across our row, and when we get to the end, we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those last four double crochets. And chain three. Now remember, I'm working with a swatch, and you're going to have a lot more stitches than I do. All right? And remember also, if you've added more stitches to make it wider, that stitch count's going to change as well. And so what we're going to do now that you have an understanding of how the rows work is we're going to continue to repeat row three and row four for an additional 55 rows, and you're going to alternate every other row. All right, so we're going to repeat row three and row four for 55 more rows, alternating every other row. Once you've stitched the amount of rows that you want for your blanket, and of course, you can add as many rows as you would like if you want it to be even longer. And it doesn't matter whether you end up on row three or row four, we still finish it off exactly the same. All right, and so once your blanket is as long as you would like it, you'll chain three, and then all we're going to do is place a double crochet in each of the double crochets. All right, so we'll start with those first three. 
because again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. All right, then we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those five. And that brings us to those two double crochets. And if you did it the other way and ended where you have your two double crochets first, you'll stitch a double crochet in your two double crochets. So it doesn't matter which you end on, you're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets across, whether they're shell stitches or the two double crochets in between. And this will just give us a nice row at the end of our blanket so it looks nice and pretty at the end. And so one double crochet in each of your stitches across, whether they're shell stitches or the two double crochets, each one of them just gets one double crochet. And we just do this all the way across. Once you've stitched that solid row of double crochet across the bottom of your blanket, we'll cut our yarn and tie off. And then of course, you'll probably have to take a few minutes and weave in all those ends. We don't have but a few from where we changed our yarn from cake to cake or, or skein to skein, whichever you used. But um, I'm just going to weave that in, make sure it's nice and secure, and cut that off. Now, I did not add any trim to the sides of my throw blanket because we have those four double crochets on each end, and I didn't feel that it was necessary. Now, you can add a trim if you want to, but I want the, the stitch to be the star of this blanket. And so this is my Noel throw blanket. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. This yarn is perfect for this project and I love it. But remember, you can use any medium weight number four yarn for this blanket. And it doesn't have to be a Noel or Christmas blanket. It can be made in any colors for any time of year. And even though it has a little bit of a hole it's still a really nice warm blanket and the texture of the shells is absolutely gorgeous.